Hello. You wouldn't think that the idea of motivation would have much to do with sense of identity, but you'd be surprised at how many times it does. For example, it's very motivating if I myself think of myself as like, I would love to, love to, love to be a very, very good um, athlete. Or I'd love to be able to blend in in Germany and be able to like really converse and and, and feel like I'm, I'm part of this, this society. That, and maybe even be able to live here and, and, and interact. If that's part of my aspiration, my dream, if my dreams are involved with that, then it's amazing. You, you couldn't demotivate me. It'd be hard to demotivate me if you came up with something that would help me achieve those goals or it was where I identified as right on the path to those goals. So it's important to, to realize that the aspiration and sense of identity and, as, and aspirant identity are really key to motivation. And it's very easy to, and effective to motivate somebody once you get to know what their aspirations are. At the same time, keep in mind that sometimes aspirations are are so deeply rooted, they're, they're almost irrational, they're so deeply rooted that they're going to ha be hard to get rid of. So, then in that case, then uh, that becomes almost like an obsession, and the worst thing you can do is to try to, to extirpate or, or deny or erase that type of, 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 of goal or, or dream or, you know, fantasy, delusion, whatever. But the delusions are what make us happy, right? I know, I know that maybe it's not a delusion, but just a very, very lovely dream that verges on delusion, but it's so inspiring and motivating. Transformational, really, is what I would say. Anyway, those are a few thoughts on motivation.